Well, every Tuesday, traffic expert Jason Luber mm. tackles a question driving you crazy. He joins us this morning with a question about a particular exit ramp. Yeah, and this exit ramp is probably one that you would see in most areas around Metro Denver. This one, though, is out to the west side of town. Ginny from Littleton writes, what's driving you crazy? The exit ramp from westbound C-470 to Bowles has three lanes and drivers do not understand the configuration. Although it is well described with signage, people stop in the right lane waiting for all lanes to clear so they can make the left into tipsies. Why do they do that? Yes, that ramp does have three lanes and here are they, how they're supposed to work. So this farthest left lane, this one right here, that is the left turn lane so they let you go uh, west on bowls. This middle lane right here, you can see you can go left, you can go straight, or you can go right. The farthest right lane is actually a dedicated continuous right lane. That means you turn right and you keep on going. You don't have to stop. You just keep traveling eastbound on bulls. No stopping required. Now, one caveat with uh, using that dedicated right turn lane is that drivers are prohibited from crossing all eastbound lanes on bulls to make that first left at the next intersection, which includes the left into the Tipsy's Les Schwab Public Storage Shopping Center. It's really to prevent drivers from doing what you are complaining about, it's stopping to wait for the gaps in traffic to merge across bowls in a short distance. Now resulting in a huge blockage of that through lane and delaying drivers behind them. Drivers want to access the shopping center. They can use uh, that center lane right there, or if they want to go up to Alkire, they should use that center lane at the off ramp then make the right, then you merge over left. That's the way it's supposed to work. It's a common issue at ramps like this where there is a left turn near that off ramp. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Usually when you follow the road markings and street signs, they're gonna lead you in the right way. But people being people, they usually do what they want to when they get behind the wheel. More on this story right now at the denverchannel.com. Click on traffic and then driving you crazy. That sign doesn't know what it's talking no, about. It yeah. No, it doesn't. Thanks, Jason.